In this video lesson, we're going to have a look at joins. Joins are a property of a relationship between the tables. And whenever you look at joins, it tends to be in the relationship part of any kind of syllabus or book. But I tend to think that it would be more useful to class it alongside queries. And that is because the effect of a join is most readily seen in a query. If we have a look at the relationship window and edit the relationship line, the join type button here is where we can modify the different types of joins. And I think that tends to be why it's classed in the relationship parts of most types of learning. But I'm going to show you how you can also access that through queries. We've got two tables um, that we've worked with before, vehicles and repairs. In the vehicles table, I've just added a new record at the bottom for the Leon car. And that has not got any... Um, maintenance jobs associated with it. So it hasn't got a related table in the repairs, a related field in the repairs table. I'm going to create a query. So this can serve as a little refresher on queries as well. I've selected the queries object and then I'm going to create a query in design view. I'm going to add the query, the tables that I want to work with, which is the repairs table and the vehicles table. And then close down the show table dialog box. Now you can see from that that the two tables have been added into the top area of the, of the query design view. And you can also see that because the two tables are related, the relationship line is there as well. Incidentally, if you want to work with two tables and there isn't a relationship defined, you can define one here just by clicking and dragging as you would do in the relationship window. But we already have our relationship defined. And if I double click that line, you'll see that it brings up the join properties dialog box. I'm going to come back to that. Let's just build up our query. I'm going to put the job number um, from the repairs table and let's just clear that and start this again. Clear the grid. I'm going to add the registration number and the model from the vehicles table and then the job number, mechanic and date of repair from the repairs table. So hopefully you can see that that gives us some quite useful information. By using the join of the table, we can then bring that information together and see all the information about the vehicle and who repaired it. Now, whenever you're working with queries, I strongly suggest you frequently switch to datasheet view just to see how it's coming along, if you are going in the right kind of direction. And you can see there how the information has been combined. We've got the registration number, model, job number, mechanic, and date of repair brought in from the two different tables. And you can also see from here the benefits of relationships in that. We've got the details there about the, the vehicle, the registration number, and the model. And remember, in the vehicles table, that's only been typed in once. But it's got three entries in this table, in this query, and three separate jobs associated with it. But we've only typed that information in once. That's the benefit of relationships. Let's switch back to... Now, before we switch back to Design View, I want to scroll down and show you that the Leon car that I entered is not there in this query. It's not there in the results. And yet, if I switch to design view, you can see I haven't put any filters on. I haven't put any criterias on. 
So why isn't it showing me the registration number and the model of the Leon car? Well, that is because of the join. So let me just double click this relationship line again, this join line again, and then we can start our discussion of what joins are. A join describes the links between the tables. It's a property of the relationship, if you like. And access always applies a default join type, which is number one. In these drop down boxes, which is populated automatically for us, we can see that we've got the left table name as vehicles and the right table name as repairs and the left column name as the registration number and the right column name as registration number. But that's not how it is in here. Repairs is on the left, but this dialog box says vehicles is on the left. Why is that? Well, that's because it comes from the primary table or the primary key in the primary table. So in our relationship, we created a relationship between the vehicles and the repairs table, but the registration number was the primary key. That was our main link. So that becomes the left table in the join. I've just switched to the relationship window just to just to help to clarify that we've got our vehicles table is the one side of the relationship. The repairs is the many side. The one side is the left side. It doesn't matter what position they are on the table in the window, the one side, the unique side of the relationship is the left side. So hopefully we can see now why the vehicles table is the left table name. The default type of join that Access sets is a type 1 join, which is also called an inner join. With an inner join, the query will only display records where there's a corresponding entry in both tables. That means it only displays records where there is a, a record in the vehicles table and a linked record in the repairs table. So if we switch back to datasheet view, that's why we can't see the Leon because there wasn't a linked field in the repairs table. So let's switch back and have a look at that join again and look at join 2. This is more commonly known as an outer join or more specifically a left outer join and this includes all the records from the left table but it will only show the records from the repairs table if there is a corresponding field. So it will only show rec all the records from the left and the ones from the right provided there's a corresponding one in the left. So we'll have a look and see what that looks like. And this time you'll see that the Leon is there. Switching back again. The third type, option 3, is called a right outer join and includes all the records from the right hand side table always and only those on the left hand side where there's a corresponding link. So we've got all the records on the right hand side and Leon again isn't shown because it hasn't got a record in the right hand side. Now that can sound quite complex and to be honest when you're creating your query, you tend to know what results you are expecting, especially with a small data set. So I tend to think, well, I know these joins exist and I know how to work with them. If I'm not getting the results I expect, then I have a little think about it and try and work out in my mind why. And it's usually because the joins are not how you need them to be.